and that's been very hard on my family, you know, and, and, and although they, they're doing reasonably well under the circumstances, but then, you know, Tammy got sick terribly and, and in a, in a really nasty way. And then her, when the, her surgery was complications multiplied and she was near death daily for months. And then this proclivity I had for depression seemed to have become untreatable and that took me out. And so, and I'm still struggling with that. You know, I get up, I can hardly stand up when I wake up in the morning. I, I feel so bad. I can't believe I can be alive and feel that bad. I stumble downstairs and I'm in the sauna for about an hour and a half. And then I can stand up long enough to have a shower, which I do for about 20 minutes. And I scrub myself from top to bottom, trying to wake up. And then I can more or less get upstairs and I eat. And then I go for my walk like 10 miles every day because I need to do that in order to deal with this, whatever it is that's plaguing me. And I can get myself to the point where by this time in the afternoon, I'm more or less functional, but then it repeats the next day. And so, and it's, it's so- My God, that's terrible. It is. It's terrible. terrible. It's, it's, it's so terrible. <laughs> it's so terrible that I can't think about it without it being traumatic. So uh, yeah. I have a hard time figuring out where to place my mind because this has been happening. It's been happening every day, really, for, for two years. I think it's fair to say that every single day of the last two years has been worse than any day I had previous to that. So, oh, my goodness. And what a predicament you're in then, because, um, you know, I can hear, I, I would guess it anyway, knowing, knowing you and knowing of you in the way that I do, but you're caught in this predicament where that's really intolerable. And frankly, most people wouldn't tolerate it. Um, but you also know that there is, you know, both at the level of your family and at the level of those who admire you and listen to you and uh, are, you know, waiting to hear the little bits of affirmation that they need, the little bits of guidance that they were unable to get in the world. You know how much good comes from your facing that uh, what sounds like a completely excruciating um, existence. Yeah, it's, it's it, perverse beyond comprehensibility, which is sort of the hallmark of a traumatizing experience. Because it is exactly that. And I, I, I look at it, and I can't get my, I can't wrap my mind around it. It, well, and I, and also that the, uh, the, my degree of exposure 